So let's just pretend like we're doing this without getting filmed. If we can manage to pull that off successfully. Where, where are we going? Um, I, I don't know. We're going to Dusseldorf and it's part of the university and it's a lab. Um, it's an ugly lab. It's a very ugly lab, You've, or the, at least the building is the ugly. The only thing I know about it is that there, there are little brains there. Where do, we, where do we even begin? Brains? Can you make brains? I think we begin by getting in this, in this, uh, Okay, we gotta, we, we gotta go to Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. We gotta go to Dusseldorf! <laughs> We're on our way to Dusseldorf, as Gabe said, by the way. Gabe is the one with the ponytail. Connor here, I'm the one without a ponytail. I have the ponytail. You've got the ponytail. My name is Gabe. So we usually do our YouTube videos from inside a studio at Deutsche Welle, and then once in a while there's a story where we have to get out. Yeah, like like this one. Yeah. There, there, there are brains in this lab. Mini brain organoids, human brains with apparently eyes on them? Yeah, so... You've, you've been to this lab? Yeah, this is at the Heinrich Heine University in Dusseldorf, and the leader of that lab, his name's Jay Gopalakrishnan. And when I visited him the last time, there were all these little mini brains floating around. Now they have eyeballs on them. I don't know why. The world doesn't know why. It's kind of scary and weird. There are a lot of questions to ask this guy. Uh, what, what, is, what is going on in this lab? Let's get there right now and talk to Jay. That's there's, there's, okay, 2312. There's my man. There's my man, Jay. Oh my God. It, it just keeps getting more and more beautiful around here. How are you doing, Jay? Good to see you. How's life? Good? Oh, good. Jay. Now, Hello, Jay. Good now that we nice found you. Good to see you. Gabriel Borud. Hi. Cham. <laughs> this building is 60 years old. Nearly wow. 50, 60 years old. Uh, wow. Still, uh, I think we're on zero, zero. Oops. Uh, we went down. You guys have pushed mm. it down. Okay, oh, that was oh, Connor's no. butt. That was, no, that was, it's because of all this equipment here. Connor's, I think your bumps want to live here. <laughs> yeah. I like this building not, so much. Not the first time that Connor's butt has gotten us all in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always, all the time I need. And sometimes I even push this alarm, but no one picks up because it's old building. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's the fake alarm that makes people... <laughs> oh, that's just 2312 and yeah. the shit about it. You can play it. <laughs> makes people feel safe. Come, Stefan. Nicely. Let's, let's see these uh, mini brain organoids, if you've got them. In these incubators, we culture the so called mini brain organoids. You have to clean your hand for. So we, we shouldn't touch anything. Can yeah. do not touch anything? They are the mini yeah, brains. Those are the brains? Yeah, those are the mini See brain them? organoids, yes. We keep them um, spinning for a quite period of time, therefore they can grow well. The, uh, these don't have eyes? Or, or they just don't have eyes yet? Well, you can't see them uh, from the distance. They do have, some of them do have um, eye-like structures. Just in this refrigerator, how many, how many mini brains are we looking at here? So every flask, you can have um, hundreds of them. So it's so, a yeah. thousand, maybe? Do you have a all thousand? Together, all together, you might have a thousand. Do they remain this size, or do they get bigger? Or? No, they grow as the time passes by, so two millimeter in size. Two millimeters? Two millimeter in size. What is that, a, a small P? Well, yeah, half of the size of the P, I would say. Half the size of a P. Up here. Yep. Oh no. There we go. What kind of reactions do you get from people when you meet them for the first time? <laughs> you describe what you do. Oh, I've got, I've got a lab with, um, I don't know, little mini brains in it. 
eyeballs. Like what are the, what are the eyeballs? With, with, oh yeah, they have eyes. You know, we're, so, I mean, what, what are it, people it, saying? It depends the uh, kind of audience that I see. For scientists, um, normal have, people, normal people, normal right? people, uh, they they didn't first believe it. Um, I think I'm <laughs> I'm not normal. Obviously, um, people had a tough time to believe it. So well, it, 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 that, that initial response is funny. Like you're not normal. Do you think that you are normal? I don't like, do, think any scientist is normal. This, this is a very serious question. I'm laughing the whole time, but yeah. Do you do you find yourself normal for doing this? I don't think I'm normal. Normal in the sense like I'm, but at, at least I'm not abnormal. So I'm not normal, but I'm not abnormal. <laughs> but I'm in the right direction. I mean, it's so, uh, in the scientific side. What happens? If this thing, I don't know, gains consciousness, what if, what if, what if, all of these little brains inside the, this this vial mm. uh, or this beaker are sitting there floating around and they're wondering, mm. what what am I doing here? How do I get out of this beaker? What why why am why am I here? Yeah. I mean, these are these are all two primitive structures. I don't think they have a sentient or conscious consciousness uh, at this stage. Because remember one thing: these are all these are all part of an organ. It is not a complete organ. So, if you want to speak about whether they have a consciousness or not, you need to have a peripheral structures, vasculatures, uh, possibly several other complex structures. So, uh, we are not there yet. So, there's no way. There is no way they have a consciousness. I would, I would like to know what would happen if I were to eat, if I were to eat those brain organoids. <laughs> would, would I become as smart as? No, I wouldn't as do that. You, as uh, you, perhaps, I, or, or I can't comment. I can't. Could I, could I grandize the size of my brain? No, no they are they are simply uh, cell material with the proteins and other other stuff. So I don't think you will become intelligent just but, by eating it. But would that be cannibalism? Yeah, it's 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 a difficult question. Uh, but to remember, uh, there are some biotech industries have generated, uh, although not from the human material. Yeah. So they generated a booger. A booger? Yes. From like from my nose? From the stem cells. No, no, it's from the beef, uh, you know, from the animals. Oh, oh a hamburger. Oh, hamburger. Oh, oh, a hamburger. That's I, thought said, I thought you said a booger, like a thing that you... <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no, glad no. it's a hamburger and not a booger. A hamburger, okay, yeah. to be precisely. So the meat industry is going, possibly, particularly in the Netherlands, that they are interested in generating uh, stem cell based meats. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't generate a human. No, no, that's <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, uh, this is, that this was, is beyond. That, I don't think, I don't think anybody is allowed to. I mean, that's where the ethical plays, um, ethical is playing an important role. How easy is it to make a brain? Can you take me through the steps? Yeah. How long it takes and, and what do you have to do to make a brain? So basically, we take stem cells. In this case, we use iPSCs, like so-called um, induced pluripotent stem cells. You, we could generate iPSC cells from your skin material. Okay, so you take my stem cells. Basic, no, we don't take your stem cells. We take your skin cells and then make stem cells out of it. You take a skin it. cell and make a stem cell you out of that? Take, you can take Gabe's skin and make a mini brain? Yes, it? it is very possible. Yeah. How? <laughs> so we take uh, the stem cell. Basically, we generate. If you could offer us your your take it, uh, your, <laughs> take some skin. Your skin cells. Then uh, a couple now, square feet. We need to we need to follow some ethical for that. So basically, we take your Where skin cells, yeah. and uh, we generate stem cells out of it. And then uh, from the stem cells, then you use uh, specific cocktails and and differentiation conditions to drive those cells differentiated into a particular cell type. It's called as neural epithelial tissues. Neural epithelial tissues. Okay. Tissues. And this tissue has got number of cell types that are astonishingly recapitulating the human brain. You have neurons, you have stem cells, you have glial cells. Pretty much many of the components are present. So then depending on your question, you could make a copy of it in your dish, no, then wait, you can so, study. So if I if I am going to have a neurodegenerative disease, dementia, Alzheimer's, my doctor tells me that, you could now take a, a, a piece of my skin, make a thousand mini brains based on my brain, and yeah. kind of take a look at yeah. and, and, and see what's happening in yes, my own. Yes, in theory, it is very possible. But however, um, the st at the stage of uh, brain organoid development, at the, st at the state of the art, 
it's it's the brain organoids are very much suitable to study the developmental disorders generally the, generally so the kind of disorders we are speaking about neurodegenerative these are late onset disorders so the so that has not been tested yet yeah. but but we are we're going there yeah how do you address some of the ethical concerns involved in all of this the idea that you're you know people might say you're you're playing god you're creating a human brain you're almost creating life and what if you take it one step too far and you do create life and how is this allowed and yeah um are these organoids alive they are i mean they are the organoids are so alive. that is you are creating life then. yeah one you know yeah okay you could say it sort of but you you do it everything in the dish um and as I, as we discussed uh, these organoids do not have any consciousness and plus how far can you do your experiments what is your border line and one should know it let's say now if you start inducing some pain yes then if they could sense the pain that is something that you have to get ethically approved i i ha- but i have to ask would you know if these brain organoids we don't know that. can sense pain we don't know that but they are able to um you know sense the light but one could think they might also sense the pain so first we need to if you want to even experimentally test it you have to get the ethical approval from the local authorities but my view can be biased because i'm a biologist as a biologist do you care about yes, these I ethical do care. questions i i do care i do care we usually do all of those um genetic based experiments that that we derive from the materials from the patients we follow strict ethics what would be the next step for you i mean you've you 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 started with the brain yeah mini brain organoid you added eyeballs to it or something like eyes what's so um so our vision is that um how complex you know how can you demystify the complexity of the human brain so that's our mission um why is it so complex and what's the specific aspect that differs from um animal brains for example um primate brains yeah i mean non human primates brains so uh, our vision is to study that there are some human specific diseases for example microcephaly we can't induce microcephaly in the mouse brain there is no way until you have to drastically perturb the genes of interest so there are some human specific diseases and if you want to treat them first you want to understand the disease biology and if you want to understand the disease biology we have to use a proper system that allows to study the human specific biology so that's our vision mm. therefore we use human brain organoids so it's about more than curing disease you're also interested in understanding the brain yes, better think, where, where does this bring us in, ter- in in terms of understanding our brain better yeah i think this is the first step to um try to understand any disease mechanisms how human brain differs in which aspect uh, how human you know human brain differs from non human primates and animal brains but that points to a question there are some human specific diseases and if you want to address those human specific diseases you want to understand the human specific mechanisms and why human brain is so sensitive to microcephaly viral infections radiation so there must be something very specific to the human brain and that's what we want to decode okay for on this time i don't know on this time here So that was a visit inside the lab of Jay Golopakrishnan and his team. Gabe right now is looking into this crazy camera we've got that gives this, this kind of This is it's a 360 de- 360 degree camera and imagine if you're a a brain organoid swimming around in a pe- in a in a beaker your whole life being a 360 degree camera that's, that's 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 really what you are that, that's kind of your life you can kind of just look wherever you want swim around <laughs> for 150 days until you perish and hopefully you don't feel any pain during that period of time that's very crucial for these experiments and um you might see light and you don't have any real consciousness but the good thing is in your 150 days you may really seriously have contributed to i don't know a significant medical advancement some sort of neurodegenerative disease research or viral research that's that's what's happening in this 
place. Right, right here. There. We, we asked a bunch of questions to Jay Gopalakrishnan. If any of you have any other questions or any, literally anything to say, leave a comment. Put it, put, put it in the comments. We would love to hear from you. We'll read it and we'll maybe comment on it in our next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks. That's it. Have fun.